good morning. So, um, in the last session, I kind of finished off the um, Snippet Pixie listing of snippets in the GUI. Um, but rather um, how you can navigate it. Um, but now I need to work on what you can actually do once you've navigated. So things like actually applying a snippet um, and editing the snippet. Um, and then in that entire screen, I need to add some buttons for things like add snippet um, and eventually a settings page. So let's do probably the most important, um, which is to actually try and apply a snippet. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. So let's investigate. So where are we? Um, we're in the country with the peacock screaming in the background. That's where we are. But I don't know if don't even know if you heard that. But yeah. so um, in the list so far. Um, I can navigate, so I can go to the end, I can go to the bottom, um, and I can page down now, page up, and of course I can move around. Um, I can uh, restrict the snippets um, and do the same thing. So I could go in, uh, and I can let's see, do that. But nothing happens when I hit return, um, and nothing happens if I click. And in fact, it's just like taking focus there. Um, so um, we need to do something with them. Oh, and I haven't got the, the numbering working yet either, which is the same thing as hitting return or clicking. Um, so I should be able to hit, say, two, and it should apply number two. Um, and the idea being that um, it basically takes a snippet, expands it, and pastes it into whatever is behind the window. So the window closes and then it does a paste um, into whatever had focus previously. So um, let's have a play. Now I will move this out of the way. I'll keep it running for the moment um, and I'll just hide off this little terminal. So, uh, yeah, okay, so we're basically here uh, to do handle this. And at the moment, it's um, uh, doing a check to say, well, okay, if there's any kind of snippets and we hit the enter key, um, dispatch uh, an item activated. Um, and at the moment, nothing is trapping that. So we'll get that working first um, and then we'll start adding in the key number and click events, I think, because this is going to be the key thing here. Um, and we'll probably refactor this slightly so that we can just run this from a function. Um, he says... Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be interesting, actually. Not quite sure how we're going to do this. So we have this. Now, what happens is this bubbles up an event outside of the list that says, hey, I want to bubble up an item activated event um, and here's some data for it. And we'll say, okay, we've got this snippet and we're going to pass back the entire snippet that's been focused which is already wrong, I think, because that should be an item because we've changed things since then. We're now in items. It 
So yep, that'll have to change. And then of course there's going to be, oh, there will be a difference as well when we do the numeric version. Um, again, you'll have to, yeah, that will be different and we will have to have a separate setup there. Um, okay, let me think. Let's Okay, let's create a different function here for the dispatch. Um, so let's call it uh, function activate item. Or item, item activated. Actually, let's do. Am I still using handle or do handle navigation on key down? Okay, well, we probably want an on here. Because it's the actual event rather than a sort of sub function. No, I'll call it handle. Uh, handle item activation. Keep it nice and long. Um, and I will pass in two pieces of information. Though I'm not sure whether I can deal with the shift key just now. That might have to be something that happens. After the fact. But I'll keep it for the moment. OK, so we're going to handle item activation for an item. And shift as well. Yeah, we'll just have shift. Let's make it clearer. Shift key. Yeah. Okay. Now that is going to basically do this. passing in the item. Should I call that a snippet? I think I should. No, I'll keep it generic for the moment because I might refactor this someday. And then that. One day we might change this up. Mind you, we are passing in a bunch of snippets at the moment, other than items. So let's just keep it as is. Let's refactor this. There's, we can change all this up if we ever need to later. 
So we will call it a snippet and we will keep that as shift key. So that means that when we hit return or enter, uh, we need to basically just do a and or item activation items yeah focused item and then the event shift k okay It's a small refactor there because actually I think what I'll do is I'll just put in a little bit of debug. Oh, I've already got it. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Didn't even realize I had that. So at the moment I am catching it already. So on here, when I do an item activated, uh, event. I'm calling the handle activated function up here. This is the screen that help, that holds the list. Um, and then I'm getting the event and I'm just console logging it. Perfect, which is what I want to do at the moment. Um, and then it's doing that. So let's just double check that works then. So I think I'll just use the browser for that. Should really have a shortcut for this on here. So console. If I'm in the list and I go down to here, number six, and I hit return, so I enter, I get an object. And in there we've got two keys. We've got the shift and the snippet and the snippet has all the details that we need for it. We've got the ID, uh, abbreviation, body and account of, uh, sorry, a, a timestamp for when it was last used. Okay, so that's fine. Now what we need is also the same to happen uh, when you hit a number. So it's going to be roughly the same, but there is some slight differences here. Um, we don't care about whether it's a focused item because it might not be. Um, and we need to basically do a numeric check. Um, so I want to do basically an array, which is not easy in JavaScript, is it? Is it contains? Hmm, I can't remember. Right, so I'm going to do an array. Um, and I presume the key is going to be a string. So I am just going to do this. I'm just going to make it very obvious. What we're doing. I can always refactor it later. But this will just do. Uh, right, so it's an array. Now, how do I do? Is it like contains? Oh, 
Oh, I can do. I can do filter or something, can't I? There's all kinds of ways I could do this. So I could do filter. Includes, that's what I want. Includes, okay. Keep forgetting about that. It's not, an, it's not a syntax I use a lot. Okay. So if the array includes the key code Then activate the item. Let's see if that works. So back in here, if I'm on the list and I hit uh, seven, there we go. We've got an item. Is it the right one? It is. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't update the function. <laughs> okay. So here, I then need to find it. So it will be... Hmm. It will be event... key minus one because it's an index thing and ah, no, I can't do that I've got to be careful because of the zero um, so if um, yeah I'll make it quite simple here let's just do event key zero then we'll just do index equals um, nine yep The index equal um can I do numeric number oh, I don't want to use that svelte thing do I to number I want to be careful here because it is uh, numeric. So how can I cast? Hmm. Okay. I don't want to do that. That's not what I want. Maybe I don't need to actually. Let me just check. Um, and then I just want to do if index equals zero, put it back to nine. And then we do that. This might go bang because I don't, th I'm not sure about whether I can use a string or not. 
it's probably going to work, but because JavaScript is quite malleable. But I don't know for sure. Okay, we'll try that. Let's clear that out so we know what's what. And then if I hit seven, that did something without error. And it's not the right one. Oh, yeah, number two. Okay. Now that is definitely going to go bad. That's what it's going to be. Okay. Go around the horn. Right, this... This might be a problem. Because I'm taken one from a string. It's not going to like this. Let's put that out and then we'll do number seven. Oh. It did work. JavaScript. It shouldn't really do that, but it did. Okay, so if I do zero, is it going to do the BLCU? It did. Um, if I do one, are we going to get a one time reader? Okay. Um, and if I do, is there anything else I could do that I might break it? If I do shift four, that's good. Okay. That's interesting, actually. So, hmm. Do I want that to work? That would be really difficult to catch as a key. I think I'll have to say that's a... I think that you can't do just yet. So what, so like in a terminal, um, if you've trying to paste something into terminal, you need to do like shift control V. Um, so um, basically snippet pixie works by sticking something into the paste, um, pasteboard and then using control V basically um, to put it into whatever becomes the focused window after the window goes away. So if you do shift, if you hold down shift, um, it will normally carry that over to the control V. Um, and so you get shift control V being applied um, and therefore it will paste into a terminal without issue. Um, but there might be a bit of an issue with that. We'll see. Um, but anyway, so we are at a point where this should be able to work. I should be able to hit enter. Or I can hit number. Um, and it will, in theory, do the thing that it's going to do. So, okay, well, we've got that working. Got those two. And then we need to actually do something with it. Oh, click. Yeah, so I also want, if I click something, that should do the same thing. So I need a click handler, which is a different thing. So on a snippet, I need to do right. I need to do what 
what can I do here? Hmm, this is where the shift key thing is not going to come into play very well. Yeah. I don't need that shift key. I think that's something that has to happen after the window goes away, if it's still held. Yeah, I think the way that it works, it's going to have to do that. So, okay, here uh, we're going to do, oops, on click, we will handle item activate, and we've already got the snippet in the list here. So we'll do that, and we're done. Uh, and then I think I'm going to just take out that shift key thing because I don't think I need it at the moment. I think we will have to deal with that some other way. Let's do that. I think that's going to have to be a uh, maybe a screen thing or maybe a go thing to check to see if the shift key has been held at the same time. We will see. Okay, so in theory, right, why does that not like it? Ah. Yeah. Okay, I don't care. And do need to make that do that otherwise it will be not happy so okay let's try that so in here does the enter still work? Yes, and we've now got snippet and a dep, which is correct. If I hit, uh, if I come back and hit number seven, we're still getting the right one. Yep. And then if I'm over here and I don't even have focus and I hit four, and nothing happens. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It needs to be bubbled up. Yeah. On click. So that says anything in that list item should just bubble up now. On the click. So if I click on number four, yay. Okay, there we go. And that's the right one. And that, that, yeah, cool. Okay, now we need to do something with that. So uh, let's, before we go anywhere, commit that off because we're going to start making some interesting changes in a minute. What did I call this? Dispatch item 
activate the event from this test. Oops. Okay. Okay, so we are basically at the moment done with the list items, scroll into view and global CSS. We're now in here in the main window, uh, which includes the search box and the list. So we need to do something with this. Um, do I have time? I don't really, do I? I don't have a meeting. I could, I could do another 10 minutes or so, a bit more. Uh, I've got time, I think. So let's do let's just sort of get the rigging up for actually if I could it might be better if I just do it in one video, eh? One session. I should probably get on with my day. Yeah, I'll leave it there. So we're at the point now where we have um, the event and been handled. Um, so I just need to do a to do here. Um, so what we're going to do next time is we're going to send, uh, we're going to Send event to we're going to send a, a like an expand and paste event to back end on. Window close. I'm just reminding myself there what I'm going to have to do because um, we're going to have to basically tell the go back end right the window's closing and it's got a post event um, that needs to happen after that and then the go daemon in the background can handle the actual mechanics or sticking stuff into the paste board and doing the paste yeah yeah I think that's okay So we'll save that um, we'll close off that. Yeah, I think we'll keep it nice and short today and then we'll do the actual mechanics of uh, the paste. Um, probably tomorrow, hopefully. So uh, thanks for watching um, and until next time, take care. Bye.